Well, here we are, the very last week of our Psalms 23 devotional, just looking at God as our shepherd. And um, here today, I'm going to share the last verse here with you. I'm sure it's one that you've read many, many times. Um, it is verse six, and it says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I'm looking over at my screen right over here. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I love the way that this psalm wraps up um, as it looks at how God's shepherding in our life it is following us. And I, I think about the cultural narrative that our best days are behind us. And all of the fun and all of the best moments happen kind of in our youth. And then it's all downhill from there. And it's exactly the opposite in God's kingdom. In fact, it says that the path of the righteous, it just continues to get brighter and brighter. And it's that same thought here in Psalms 23 is surely his goodness and his mercy. They're going to follow me all the days of my life. And that word goodness, it's an all encompassing word. In fact, if you look it up inside of its original Hebrew language, it really holds so much thought, beauty and pleasure and all of the things that God brings into our life. It's, it's a very broad word. And so I think about um, all of the things I love most. I'm a big journaler. And so I love writing down and capturing my favorite moments and really letting them sink in. As I've gotten older, I've tried to do that more and more where I'm not just letting things rush past me, but I'm just stopping to really be in the moment and savor it. So I think about holidays or I think about, um, you know, just even sometimes on the weekend with our kids, honestly, morning times right now we're doing devotions together um, because of the kids being home for school. It's just been easier for that to happen and listening to them talk. There's just some of those moments that I, I so savor and I feel a little bit like how it talks about Mary and treasuring all these things in her heart is I just kind of tuck them away. Like I really love seeing how God's moving in my kids' lives or these moments that me and Danny will share together. And then you look at this verse and under the care of our good shepherd, I can just expect that to follow me all the days of my life. It doesn't have to be this scarcity kind of mindset of like, oh no, this is all I have, so I'm going to hoard it. There can really be this generosity even inside of our favorite moments because there's an understanding good ones are going to continue coming. In fact, one of the things that my family has done over the years is they just have been all about inviting other people into their holidays. And there's just not been this like, no, this is ours and it's only for us. There's typically this like, let's invite everyone over to share with us. And I think it comes out of this place of really believing your goodness is following. So I don't have to have, you know, everything inside of this moment be totally perfect. And I don't have to hoard it like it's mine because I can just trust you, God. You're just going to continue to follow me with your goodness. And then that next word, his goodness and his mercy. And his mercy, another word for it would be loving kindness. In fact, some of the translations, they use that that wording. It's the favor of God. It's, it's him watching over every little detail of our lives. And I think about so many moments where I just felt like, God, you... You knew exactly what I needed. I don't know if you've had those kind of moments or if you're paying attention because I, I think that they happen a lot more than we notice. And so it's one of the goals of my life just to pay attention more and notice when God, he's just caring for me in little ways. Like I, I like to tell this story, but um, during the season where it was hard to get David's seizures to stop, it was a stressful season in ways that I, I don't think I even fully realized while I was walking through it. Because when you're walking through it, you just put one foot in front of you um, and then you get a little bit to the other side and you're like, wow, that was such a stressful season. And there would be moments in that season where it was just a difficult day and I was struggling. And it would be like all of a sudden a pastor friend would reach out and just give me like this thought that they were praying for me. And it was like exactly what my soul needed. God had just whispered something in their ear and they just reached out in exactly the right timing. And those kind of moments, it's his loving kindness and I see them more and more and more in my life as I pay attention. They follow me. And even when I walk through difficult seasons and painful seasons, I can just be assured he's watching over all of those little things and he's caring for me in just the, the most intricate, detailed of ways. And then it says, And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 
And there's just this deep sense of satisfaction. The whole psalm has brought us through this understanding of what it's like to be in the care of our good shepherd. And then to conclude with, this is where I want to stay for the rest of my life. This is where I want to be. I don't, I don't need, I don't want anything else. There's nothing that this world could offer me. Um, what a beautiful thing for us to be able to say along with David the psalmist, I'm going to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I, I watch, you know, people all around me inside of culture. And, and it's like they're just chasing, trying to find themselves in relationships or careers or, or really hobbies, all different kinds of stuff. It's like they're constantly chasing, 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 trying to find some sense of maybe home, you know, some sense of contentment or satisfaction. And when we truly know our good shepherd, there's just this, this contentment, this settledness inside of our spirits that says, this is where I'm going to be for the rest of my life. And the beautiful thing about being under the care of our good shepherd, it doesn't end at the end of this life, right? That is just the doorway in to a brand new space of being so much closer to him. So really death, death has lost its sting in that place because death in this life is just doorway into eternity forever with our good shepherd. So um, I've loved being a part of this study with you. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Let me pray for you one last time. And I'm excited to hear um, just all the feedback about how this has really impacted your life. Um, Lord, I'm so grateful just for the study, all that you've shown me personally, God, just the revelation of you. Lord, you've truly awakened my soul in this season, God, to a brand new understanding and revelation. And in that place, I've just been satisfied by you at such a deep level. And God, I'm, I'm praying that same thing for each of these leaders who are watching and participating. God, I'm just praying for that, that deep sense of satisfaction. God, I, I'm praying, God, that if there's any place that enemy has been harassing them or coming in and trying to steal that contentment, God, I just bind that evil work in the name of Jesus. And God, I'm praying for just a conviction, God, an awareness and an understanding in each of our spirits that it is your goodness and it is your mercy that follows us all the days of our life. God, we would just rest in that place. And God, may we be able to say, just like the psalmist, we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's your presence, Lord, that we love so much. And God, this is where we're going to stay for the rest of our life, into eternity and beyond. God, we have found home in you. You are our resting place. God, you are everything that we need, everything that we want. And we're so thankful that you are our shepherd and that we are the sheep. We are the flock that gets to call you ours. Thank you for just the possession that you take over our lives and the care that you bring. God, for everything that you do on a continual basis to shepherd us. God, we're, we're so thankful here today. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen.